Lawrence Lake, attorney at law, here for the publishers of this product. Due to the necessary and obvious gross nature of this product, a lawyerly-like disclaimer is prudent and a benefit to all. Welcome to the University of Registered Grossologist, or for short, you are gross. Let me see now. Oh yeah, here you are on the roster. We've been waiting for you. Oh, wait. Who am I? I'm Ginger Vitus, your host, guide, counselor, nurse, father, mother, sister, mailman, mechanic, ballerina, tax collector, janitor, uncle, and just plain all-around cool cat. And it's my job to not only make sure that you have the grossest of fun times, but after you barf, you'll need someone to help you clean it up. Now, the purpose of our little university here is to explain and explore the human body and some of its functions, the ones that are really gross, disgusting, putrid, nasty, and vomitous. You know, to really check it out, you gotta jump in there and get your hands covered in goo. It's mind-numbing how cool scabs and wounds are, or how disgustingly fascinating poop and diarrhea can be. So, if you have your barf bags, no sharing. Let's get ready to get grossed out! On this body map are 11 different grossology labs you can go to. You can get a specialist's grossology certificate of achievement from any particular lab to impress your friends and gross out your folks. After you've gone to every lab getting all your specialized certificates, you can apply to become a full-fledged, card-carrying, registered grossologist. Just think of the prestige, the compliments, the job offers. Oh, oh, sorry, wait a minute. That was the description from another university. Anyway, besides all of the barfing and being grossed out, we here at You Are Gross like to play games. And in each lab, there's a very, very cool game. To get to the game, though, you'll first need to fill that headbone of yours with some cool facts from the lab you're in. To get to a game, go to that particular lab first. Then, click the game icon. I'll ask you a quick question from that lab. You get it right, and voila! You're in, playing the game. But for now, let's get started. Go ahead and pick a lab and get ready to be totally grossed out! Ooh. Poop, diarrhea, and farts. Boy, I can tell you a story about any one of these. Like that time I went to Mexico and drank a half a gallon of water from a well? Jeez, I was in the bathroom for a week with the runs. You know, it's not unusual that travelers get diarrhea from drinking or swallowing different kinds of bacteria found in the food or water in foreign countries. There's a lot more where this came from. Let's go check it out. Hey. Ta-da! Oh, here I am. Whoa, smelly. I guess I shouldn't have had that bean salad for breakfast, huh? Well, it's true. Some foods can make you cut the cheese. Like dairy products, cabbage, apples, radishes, broccoli, onions, cauliflower, beans. And of course, Aunt Millie's infamous tuna salad surprise. Oh, wait. That last one gives you diarrhea. Anyway, in this lab, we'll see how farts and poops are made and also hear a little about the dreaded Trotskys, or diarrhea. To get things rolling, we've invited Paul, the butt crack plumber to help us demonstrate the human digestive process as it relates to poop, diarrhea, and farts. And without further ado, do, here's Paul. Uh, thank you, Paul. I think. In Paul's line of work, he has become an expert on poop and diarrhea, and that's not because of all the bean and cheese burritos he's scarfed down over the years, but because he once attempted to build the world's most ultimate toilet. Well, in his years of grueling research, Paul learned all the ins and outs of the human digestive system and when, where, and why people are most likely to poop or have diarrhea. 
Sadly, in the end, his invention failed, so all Paul's work went down the drain, and he subsequently became a plumber. Too bad. Anyway, Paul brought a nifty demonstration of the human digestive system to share with us. The putty-like waste we call poop you deposit in the toilet there contains undigested food materials from the previous day, along with water, salts, skin cells, and little living creatures called bacteria. Cool, huh? <laughs> Mouth, where digestion begins as you chew and swallow your food. Bolus, a chewed up ball of food that is swallowed and journeys down the digestive tract. Esophagus, a pipe that carries food from your mouth to your stomach. Gag me! This is so gross! Bile, a yellow or green chemical made in the liver that acts like a detergent to break down fats in the beginning of the small intestine. Stomach, a tough muscular organ which stretches to collect all the foods and liquids you eat, then contracts to squash all this up. <laughs> Enzymes, strong chemicals produced by your digestive system which break down the food you eat. My fellow Americans, now I know this is very gross, but we must maintain our composure. Duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine where the acids from your stomach are changed to become neutral. Peristalsis, movements by muscles in the large intestine that pinch liquid poop along. Water gets squeezed out and individual poops form. Gut, the name for your stomach and your intestines combined. Basically, from your stomach on down. Your gut is made of many layers of muscles and mucus glands. Oh, my. My, my, my. I, I'd better get me to a rectory before I do a proverbial hurl, you know. Villi. Little finger-like things in the small intestine which suck up nutrients as they pass by. Feces, putty-like waste containing undigested food, water, salts, skin cells, bacteria, and bacterial wastes, also known as caca, doo-doo, poo, and number two.
rectum. The last part of the large intestine where poop goes, just before you let it out. Oh, dude, like you're gonna make me blow chunks. Ugh. Anus, the opening at the end. You know, your butthole. Anal sphincter, the muscle that keeps the anus shut, but opens when you go poop. You know something? I just found out your small intestine is actually longer than your large intestine. It's only called small because it's so narrow. All sorts of things can give you a rude case of the farts, like dairy products, beans, or even broccoli. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Some things, like antacids, work in the opposite way, relieving you of gas, or <laughs> farts. In this pinball game, you want to try to hit every food item that may give you gas. That's how you rack up the big points, know what I mean? But stay away from antacids, because they take points away. Also, beware of me, Paul the Butt Crack Plumber. Hey, you don't want any of your poop balls to fall into any of my toilets, got it? Good. What the heck was that? Good job, good luck, sucker. You'll need it in the bonus round. Oh, man, now that was nice. Good job. Nice! Good job! Hey! Cut it out! All the food you just obliterated makes a guy really want to fight! Hey, I should know! Good luck, sucker! You'll need it in the bonus round! What the heck was that? Hey, if I could play like you, I wouldn't be a plumber. Know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, no way! I'd be one of them pinball wizards! Oh yeah, you're good. You're real good. Uh, if I was in your shoes, pal, uh, I'd try again. <laughs> Hey, watch it, pal! Uh, good luck, sucker. 
Yeah, you'll need it in the bonus round. Hey, if I could play like you, I wouldn't be a plumber. Know what I mean? Yeah, no way! I'd be one of them pinball wizards. All the food you just obliterated makes a guy really want to fight! Hey, I should know. <laughs> oh, man. Now that is nice. Good job. Hey, cut it out! Wow, seeing you take out all those things that really make you fart makes me wanna fart! Stand back! Hey, maybe you should try again, huh? The heck was that? All the food you just obliterated makes a guy really want to fight. Hey, I should know. <laughs> Just obliterated makes a uh, you can do better than that, right? Right. Hey, watch it, pal. that really makes you fun. <laughs> oh, man, well, that was nice. Good job. Yo, what the heck happened? I thought you was good at this. <laughs> hey, cut it out. You know, a big dinner can hang out in your stomach for five hours. <laughs>